Got the head turn. And now we're gonna separate the eyeballs from the eyelids. This is, by the way, the quietest skinning tent in the history of ornithology. Only for the purposes of this video. There's the skull. And we pull out brains. Rest of the cranium inside the skull. Turn the skull back. No. Now we're back to a right side out skin. I use my probe to lay the skin down again. Now I need to clean out the wings. I'm going to go to the base of each wing, pull on the humerus, clean off the feathers from the ulna. Same on the other side, always taking the opportunity to clean up the skin just a bit.
two wing bases. So now we have our wings connected at approximately the width of the back of the bird. We can return the wings to their right side out position. Now we're ready to stuff the bird. So we're now starting to put this bird back together. I'm putting in cotton where the eyeballs should be. Eyeballs. Now we're going to take a stick and put a little wad of cotton on the end of it to support the head. Basically a big Q-tip, put that in the body and that'll be essentially a handle for this bird. And then we're going to put it up into the head to support the head and neck. There's our bird ready to stuff, and now we just need to put a body into it. So I'm going to reach down the bird's throat, grab the tip of the body, and essentially pull it in there. And there it's coming out. And then my little trick is that I take the pin that I jabbed into my finger a minute ago, and I use that to hold that cotton in place. Now I'm just working the cotton into the body. Go ahead and clip it on. Good to go. Okay, so now the body is well within the bird. We just do last little fix-ups as far as getting the edge of the skin all around the incision well positioned. And we're essentially ready to go.
Now we can pull out our pin and okay. Okay. So now we're going to start closing this bird up. There goes thread through the bill, and that will allow me to tie a nice knot to hold the bill shut. Like that. Nice and tight. Like that. And now the only thing left to do is to sew up that opening. And then my belief is that you need very few stitches. So I put one at the anterior most, the top part of the incision. And I put one on either side of the widest part of the incision, and then one at the bottom. So it's literally just three, four, four times that you go through the skin. There's the second. Now straight across, that's the most important point, or it pulls the skin sideways. Straight across, and now down to the bottom, right down to there, closest to the bird's tail. And now what we want to do is we want to pull straight across so that our incision closes, just like that. Pulls down just a bit at the shoulder, and I don't really want to pull all that down to the bottom of the incision. So I'm not going to pull very hard for this to end this this sewing up. I'm just going to pull it so that it is tight, but not pull it. And now we're essentially done with our bird. We just have to make it look pretty which for this bird is pretty easy because it was pretty to begin with. We get the wings up on the back, get the tail nice and straight. Get the breast arranged. We want the feet crossed nicely on the stick. We want the breast feathers nice and puffy. We're almost there. Remember the tag that I did? Here it is. Do you use the tag to tie the feet too? I do. I like two birds with one stone. I like this idea. But that works best if you have left the stick out. And I like to leave the stick out because then anybody in the future who wants to handle the specimen can handle the stick and not the specimen. Mm -hmm. Because everybody has oils and such on their hands. So, for example, you are always able to do that instead of grabbing the specimen. Mm -hmm. And we're essentially done. One last step is that we will put this on a drying board and then we'll show you the drying box, which is a good solution for humid tropical countries. Okay, so now just last steps here. We're going to pin this bird so that it dries as nicely as it looks now. And so there are lots of different styles, but I usually start by just putting a pin on either side of the bird. And a pin on either side of the bill. And 
and that allows me to have the bird pretty much held in place. I can put one on either side of the feet as well. And now, basically just getting those feathers pretty much where they should be up on the bird's back. And then last thing we want to do is get the bird's tail spread out so that we can see those feathers very easily. bright sunlight. Come around this way. We're out in the bright sunlight and you see this metal box. Essentially one of the biggest problems in tropical ornithology is getting your skins to dry because otherwise they can fill up with mold or, or they can get blown by flies, etc. So the temperature in here can get 20-30 degrees higher than outside. You can see there's a previous tray and these trays stack up so that the birds have air moving over them, but it's nice warm air, and so that'll finish up the drying process for us in a day or two. <laughs>